Hello? Hello. How are we doing? Are you all right? Yeah. Give us a cheer if you're drinking. Yeah. Good. Good. Give us a cheer if you're getting shit-faced. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> One really... Yeah. Good, going for it. good, good. That's good. That's what the British... That's what we're good at, isn't it? You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One woman drinking for Britain. Yeah! <laughs> Got a flag. I'm getting sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit, you know. That's not a pun. So, um, yeah, because they're always telling us, aren't they? You know, please drink responsibly. Every advert, please drink responsibly. I was saying, fuck off. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? <laughs> That's that defeats the whole point of going for a drink, you know. You've been responsible all week in work. It's the weekend. I'm getting shit faced. <laughs> no one goes to a fancy dress party. What's the theme? Responsibility. <laughs> I'm going as an Aldi manager. <laughs> People that go to fancy dress parties, by the way, they're the most creative pissheads ever, right? <laughs> My cousin Kev, he went to this fancy dress party. He went dressed as a parcel. Right? Across his chest in massive letters, he had his name, address, then in bold red, recorded delivery. I thought it was weird. Kev's a genius. He got shit-faced, collapsed, woke up the next day at home. <laughs> <laughs> his missus was pissed off, though, because three in the morning she had to fucking sign for him. <laughs> should be oh, the British Olympic sport, binge drinking. Who hasn't been in a city centre, seen a woman staggering about, you know, at two in the morning, shoes in one hand, you know, cheesy chips in the other. <laughs> giving the immortal cry of, it's me, you fucking kill it. <laughs> oh, the things women do. I mean, fair play. If you're going to get pissed, you've got, you got to have some at Greasy, haven't you? No one's ever been shit-faced on a Saturday night. I could fucking murder an apple. <laughs> Where's Open now that sells hummus? <laughs> Steve's got kale, bastard! <laughs> You wake up the next day upside down in a shopping trolley, you know, pizza stuck to your face, looking like a savoury phantom of the opera. <laughs> and it all tastes amazing at three o'clock in the morning, doesn't it? You know, it could be anything. Two quid kebab. Never, by the way, ever <laughs> have that sober, right? I made that mistake once. I was a poor student, right? Next morning, they went, oh, nice one, breakfast, come here. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a confusing moment because the magical, pissed memory of this Michelin star worthy dish <laughs> doesn't marry with what you're going to throw up. <laughs> The first time that you ever bite into a two-quid kebab sober feels exactly the same way as the first time you see Blackpool Illuminations as an adult. <laughs> Get back in the car, kids! This is shit! Blackpool fucking hell, yeah. That, that, Blackpool, that's another level of binge drinking. Even she'd be like, fuck that. <laughs> Blackpool, that's up there with, like, Magaluf. You know, the kind of place so mental just deserves its own nature channel, you know. Can you imagine switching on? Like, the weekend has landed. <laughs> and this Blackpool branch of Weatherspoons is about to encounter a species of hen party. 
the likes of which it has never, ever seen. <laughs> Twenty stone women <laughs> in size six leggings. <laughs> The bride in white resembles a clove of garlic. <laughs> there is an abundance of alcohol. And as they complete their 27th round of Jaeger bombs, the ladies now behave like a flock of seagulls. Screeching, attacking people, and stealing chips. <laughs> As it is only two o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> a mother shields the eyes of her young, as there are some signs a child should never, ever see. In this case, the maid of honour wearing a tracksuit bearing the logo, anal. <laughs> On first glance, it appears to have been spelled incorrectly. A-N-E-L. However, using our new super zoom cameras, we see that it actually says angel. <laughs> and the G has vanished up the crack in her arse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely lovely. I'm Andy Watson. Cheers. <laughs>